I'm using four ripe banana body oats. Ideally, you should mash your banana before adding the egg, but I like to have big chunks of banana in my big dough. Now I'm adding this high protein chocolate porridge, so you can replace this with three cups of oats. Now we're going to be adding this high protein yogurt. So we've had the coconut flavor, I added a blueberry flavor, and lastly I'm adding another coconut flavor. If you're lactose intolerant, you definitely want to stay away from dairy. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. Tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. One tablespoon of brown cinnamon. I'm adding one cup of milk. I'm using this semi skimmed milk, but you can use any milk of choice. I've topped it with some berries, but you can definitely add any fruit of choice. Uh, for people with PCOS, you want to make sure that they are using fruit that are lower in carbs. But you can really use any fruit of choice. Um, this is just what I have at some at the moment. Adding my salmon and just rubbing it in the oil. <laughs> now I've had it in the prawns. So I'm adding in some sea salt. Mix up. The mood. Parsley. Oops. Mix everything together. So we're gonna bake this in the oven for. 30 minutes. Now let's make the roasted veggies. One thing to always keep in mind when struggling with PCOS or any form of hormone imbalance is that you want to make sure it's magnesium. Magnesium is very important for people who are trying to lose weight when dealing with PCOS and find magnesium readily in vegetables. I'm just going to be adding a tablespoon of olive oil. And this is parsley. Mix up salt. So lunch is ready. I was so hungry. I had a tiny piece of the salmon. So I'm gonna plate this. I'm gonna be serving this with some jello fries. Let's plate. We have here um, the salmon and the shrimp will give us 40 grams of protein. All right. Last but not the least, I'm going to be adding a seven spoon of jello fries. There we go. Let's make dinner. Dinner is going to be chicken veggie soup. I'm just going to be cutting some cucumbers and some carrots into pieces. Use uh, chicken broth as the base, adding some grilled chicken. Then. So we have six 200 gram chicken breast there, which would give us about 62 grams of protein ish. So I'm just adding chicken to the veggies here too have a complete five days lunch but again 
one tablespoon of jollof rice. So this automatically gives us lunch for five days. I'm just dicing the chicken breast into smaller pieces. I'm going to start by adding some chicken broth to the base. This is a very good anti-inflammatory dinner, especially when you use natural spices or your chicken broth. So avoid seasoning cubes as much as you can. Use ginger, garlic, black pepper, turmeric, Parsley. This is ready to eat. You just add hot water when you are ready to eat. So this is what I would be eating this week to lose the postpartum weight. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe. Bye for now.